The characters we play on MTV Sugar Season 6 may be fictional, but the drama we go through and the issues we face aren't. In MTV Sugar IRL, we step out from in front of the cameras and bring you the real people facing what we as actors only pretend to. Kicking it off in Lagos, we meet Miriam, a real-life Diana, and the girls who work for her. Then we go north to Kaduna to meet Fatima. She's married, a mother, and like Hadiza in MTV Sugar, she has a passion for education. In this season of MTV Sugar, many of the characters are dealing with issues around contraception. So far, that's me and Toby, played by Timini Egoson, rounded up some real-life couples to talk candidly about sex and protection. The character I play is Fa. Her full name is Soibi Fa. She realized that at any point in time when she needs something from someone, she has to pay with sex. She would do it, but with a condom. What did you saw? What? She went to be the young. You know just about my room. My name is Timini Egbusen, and I play the character of Toby. Basically, Toby's relationship with Leila, right? She's much younger, and he takes advantage of that. He kind of knows that he can bully her. He kind of knows that he can push her around. Babe, <clears throat> I'm out of condoms. Let's meet the couples, Timmy and I track down. We don't really do sex education in Nigeria. Down here in Nigeria. Yes. I, I can't walk up to my dad and tell my dad that dad had sex. It's gonna give me that slap. We am having sex is like um, like a secret thing. My mom usually advised me not to have sex before my wedding. My mom never talked to me about sex. The basic thing about African parents is they don't face the reality of it not probably being possible to abstain 100 percent Basically just tell you. Don't, don't, don't have sex. Don't. Yes. They don't tell you use protection and stuff. They just tell you don't, don't have sex. My parents never ever spoke to me about sex. Never. Same with me. <laughs> My mom, when I was growing, would tell you, "Be a guy should touch you, become pregnant." You become pregnant. Everybody, why though? That is that is our parents. Our parents. I don't the custom, our religion, <laughs> and our society. So what advice can you give to parents, teachers, guardians, anyone dealing with adolescents? My advice for them is to talk about sex to these children. Even here, if you want to have sex, let it be safe. Don't forget to get your contraceptives for free. My name is Helena Nelson. I'm playing the character of Diana in MTV Sugar Season 6. So Diana is still at school, and what she does is uh, she hooks up her friends in school with uh, older men like her boyfriend's friends. Her boyfriend is pretty old and married, so they're all sugar daddies. In downtown Lagos, we meet the real-life Diana. My name is Miriam, and I'm 27. I organize girls for parties, for guys' private parties, bachelor's eves, and club parties too. And um, I organize girls to sleep with them. I started working with Miriam 2016. No, 15 years, 2015. Then to Melang Bon, how do you I work for me while the party to me. She calls me and tells me how I sent your picture to someone and he likes it. So go and meet him in the hotel. She give me the room number and everything. I go and meet him. Then he pays me from the morning. Then I call Miriam. I give her own cut. I get 30 percent for my girls. The rest is for them. Yeah, there are many girls in Lagos that do it. Many girls. The reason why there's so many of these girls in Lagos is because things are really hard in Nigeria. Things are really hard. People are, people are suffering. Hey, Jimmy, no we da. But no, Jimmy, don't touch it. Bo hoy. So, grandma, she wa him kaka bonsu. Then be a bongbe, bongbre exam, bondia. Because I'll be by me and boy be near. Ponto see who me. Bo humbo one one in the only. Lizzie came to Lagos to look for a job, like house help. And everywhere she had worked, her boss sleeps with her every night. Three or four places she had worked, that is what has happened to her. So she rather would do this to make money than a boss to sleep with me without paying me. Like I went 
Evivinumia, Bondo Chesa. Well, um, I started working with Miriam, that my child was still three years old. When I gave birth to him, I gave birth to him in the house. I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't go for a checkup to see what's wrong with him, if he's okay and all that. But I noticed when he was a year plus, he doesn't hear well until I play something very loud. If I talk to him, he can't yeah, I have to direct, I have to use my fingers to direct him. I took him to the hospital. So the doctor said that he needs hearing aid. It's about 600,000 naira. And I can't afford it. That's when I met Miriam. I want the best. I want the best for my son, though. But most importantly, I just want to get that hearing aid for my son. Later in the show, we find out where Teresa goes to meet Miriam. I'll tell you for a fact that a lot of people, a lot of young people in Nigeria are still having unprotected sex. We should be a lot more informed. We don't make use of protection. <coughs> yes. <laughs> I trust him so much, so why should I use it? Whenever we don't use condom, he, he uses the withdrawal method. Not to, Not to pour inside and just pose it out. To be honest, a lot of people feel like withdrawal is a contraceptive method, but for me, and I and when I'm just with my guys and all of that, I let them know that it's not it's not 100. percent In MTV Sugar, I played the role Hadiza. Hadiza is a Muslim lady from the north, and she wanted to be educated, but her husband wouldn't let her, so she had to run away. <laughs> Amal heads north to meet a couple helping girls like Hadiza get educated. the <laughs> Okay, Auron. Say the much Auron. Auron, yes, take it as I Auron, Auron Nico. And by Auron Bokuma, same thing as we and I want to have one day to our own. In some marriages in the north, some men does not allow their wives to go out. They does not allow them to go to school because they thinking that it's nothing for them. It will not work for them. Shikarana <laughs> And now you cook, not in your so in your caratu. Says Kachia was in your caratu. Look what happened and images in which I let ye. And say, I think in a gida, that mine are some in caratu. She is a man out of she. Nina so in your caratu, she mine are so in your caratu. Look a moment as some caratu. In the buyer some caratu, my caranta was an outishable. So then I sank caratu, who men are so in your caratu. She is a outish. So, the health traditional bath attenders. medicine for X-ray, radiography. I wanted to do medicine because we don't have much female in that line. I want to be a gynecologist because in that field too, it's most, most especially the doctors are male. I am Tara Denise and Jemma Garanta Islamia, Zangha Fatima. 
and that you are a matter of our recruitment in Chimata and Islamia, Mahim Manchin Elim, Ara Yuris. So I know in our room, Naga Giara. The Lily and Desa Makatara, and then she a come Maganang. I want to get the Illimung the Amachi. Illimi the Amachina, the Mike Amachi. Yena the Mike took out my him munchy so say. So I know my Illimi Amachi. Come on, it ain't amateur, eh? Tay Illimi commanded Dunia singing Illimi. Madam, I came in Savaka as well, Macarenta. I've been there, Savannah, as well, Macarenta, Sabu, the Magina, and eight year ten to cover as well, the Macarenta. Sabu then, a patana, and a new woman, and I with a quinlan shes, I go, they come out and dunga for ta in as well, Macarenta. That in as well, Macarenta, happy in your old. And I want to have a nicky sweet eating eleni. It's your bending that equally in as a match can get. Coming here today, I realized that uh, our woman's hair in the north wants to go to school but they're having a lot of problems. Some is their father's fault and some their husband's fault. Bill Fatima managed to convince Zanib's husband to let her go to school. We come back later in the show to find out. I was talking to my friend and I was telling her about IUD and immediately I mentioned, I was like, I told her, I was like, would you want to get an implant? She's like, no, God forbid, oh, God forbid, I won't get an implant. What, what, if, what if it stops me from getting pregnant? And that was the same notion I had before sugar. We have some adolescents coming here telling us that as soon as they finish having sex, they stand up and they start to jump up. And they are the um, semen will come out itself. And some even tell us that they go into the toilet, sit on it, and they start to push like you want to give birth, yeah. and the semen will come out. All of this does not work. The only thing that works is contraceptives. I don't really know about all birth controls and all, but I've heard of one. I don't know the name, but I know they put one under the arm here. It's like an injection, but I feel we are too young for that. Yeah. We have different forms of family planning, how to okay. prevent yourself from getting pregnant. We have what we call the implants. We have what we call the high UCD. We have what we call the oral contraceptive. We advise our young people to also use condom, even while they are on this contraceptive. That is to prevent HIV and the spread of STI. Now, all that I mentioned for here, it is free. Remember, you have to take the contraceptive pill every day. Miriam is the real-life version of the MTV Sugar character, Diana. So Diana is still at school, and what she does is uh, she hooks up her friends in school with uh, older men. Two of the girls that have been working for her the longest are Teresa and Lizzie. I want the best for my son, though. But most importantly, I just want to get a hearing aid for my son. I like to hear you. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. They're all getting ready to head to the club. It's a work night. Ready for what? Tonight. Really? I need to rest for some time. We do have some rules. Like, I tell them, don't sleep with a guy without condoms. One. Two, if it's a party and you negotiate with a guy, you have to come and tell me how much you have negotiated with the person. I will have to talk to the guy, want to know where he's taking you, and his number, I have to collect all that so they will be safe. Yeah, I just call them all the time, yeah. If they refuse, I, I just take my, pick up my bag and my store, I just dress up and leave. No, I'm not on bad control. Amen, Pinoza. We call no high CD, a man, I'm a zone. Always on Noza. May I let you know, baby, no, baby. Because she doesn't speak good English, she finds it difficult to make good money. So she's always like, I need to look for a job, I need to look for a job. But getting a job, it's no easy one. And when she remembers what has happened to her, she will just give up looking for a job and want to go out. So, what do you want? So, 
the hardest part is when you're about to leave in the morning and the person is telling you, no, you don't have to. I'm not done with you yet. I don't have any choice because you can't get paid. You have to do whatever I told you to do. There are many girls that go out every night and you don't come back. You don't come back. I know girls are thinking that the life Diana is living is fast money, but at what cost? I don't want to go into this kind of business anymore. So many, so many things have been happening, so I'm just so scared. So that's why I told my, I told Miriam that I need to leave this business. Because it's very, very dangerous. If anything happens to me now, I don't know who's going to take care of my child. So that's why I need to stop this. What I know about this, this effect of this pet control is that it makes you add weight, like you look fat, and I think when you take too much of it, it has some damages it does in the body as well. Too much of it, because some people tend to take it almost every day. It is not from the contraception. It's just to me that a person has the tendency to grow fat with or without the contraception. Okay. For oral contraceptive, it is everyday pill. You use it every day, even when we are on your period. I know a lot of people, okay. when it comes to contraception or contraceptive pills, okay. the only thing that they use is post not to. We're not just too sure if something I actually gotten in, maybe we use some contraceptives like you know, Postino. Postino. Postino too. Like it's a pill you use to wash off the spam out like of your body. Like after sex contraceptive. Some people think it is just like an horror pills. It is not. It is emergency. Got that? The after sex pill is only for emergencies. Fatima and her husband are pushing for education for real-life women like Hadiza. Hadiza is a Muslim lady from the north, and she wanted to be educated, but her husband wouldn't let her. The lady in the same Katara, who are the Shine, Akang, Maganang, I'm going to get a little more. The Amachi. Madam, I came in Sabaka as well, Makaranta. I've been there, Savan as well, Makaranta, Sabu, the Majina, and yet then took over as well, the Makaranta. But can they convince the Nib's husband to let her go back to school? What I was in Parachans are in that area, so put a Kaya far away you were. Quire far illimi, quire paragani, Mahim Mansion illimi. So in at an any Abu was Natchans are there, so put an paragani illimi and other than fine. The good skins are quite what the student has enough. It is an ascent to Karatu, a mamujinta, by her suit Karatu. To Enzumin, you decide in Zamujemusami, Mujinta, the leader, the Mujina, Mujemusami, she somebody about to turn in Karatu. No, Kuri. Yes, okay. The linen there is some Kazuna. Some of the mini feeder, the Matanka, Gia Makaranta. Tanuna Manichua, Tana Santa Kuma Makaranta, and Makaini Bakara. I she never got a Matazamuzuna. It's here for a look at some more Abundisa, Nimabon one and Bangi, Magana look at some Bakaga, Simon Magana look at some Damata, Magana Tanasu Chigabra Katsun, to Senduba Alamarin de Yodo Gobi, that she pretty much all the Lidio will go book movie, come out at Chi, Tafta and Tatu Magaranta Niman after Sabuda, not of Nima. She Magaranta the Amachina, the Matuka Mahimachi. Kaga is ni kaina ya ana hudu kuma ina zuwa makaranta kuma ya'yan basu ana nan zuwa makaranta bari su kuma nake zuwa ina yin karatu a idan akwai hanyar da za a iya samu a kai makoda kaka ne ta tare ni ya'yan ko ko wani abun kamun saka kuma akwai hali 
ko karamin yaro ne za a dauka dan duka ba wata wani abu da raka kula da shi a yana da muhimmanci gaskiya saboda yara ma ko ai amma tunda na miji kinga misali miji dai ba zama yake yi ba ita ne take zuna da su yau gobe shi ta takaice kaga shi makaranta yana da muhimmanci ga aya mace ko ba komai ko ba ta je ta aiki ba za ta taimaki yaran ka Have you ever had the pregnancy scare? Yes. Yes. It just I it came out negative. I was so um, happy. Happy and sad. The reason why I felt happy was because I never wanted to stop my education and the reason why I felt sad was because I wanted a baby. Seriously? Yeah. I was I was so happy it was negative. So happy. Find the free contraception that works for you. Since filming this story, Lizzie has left Miriam and is attending culinary school, focusing on confectionery. Teresa has moved out of Lagos and is no longer in this line of business. After a whole lot of debating, Zanib's husband has finally agreed to allow her to return to school. <laughs> gaskiya karatun ya mutu yana da kyau kuma kin ga abin da isa saboda dai yau da gobe kuma alawai irin na yara ne ga yara kuma suna ta ina so in fara zuwa makarantar ranar monday daga ss1 zan fara kuma zan karanta arts ne to sai ina so in gani duka mata yan uwa mata sun yi karatu saboda ko bai musu amfani ba zai mai yaran sa amfani 